one thing you guys are going to learn when you start using the rings is that you have to eliminate momentum for every exercise. You cannot do momentum reps on the rings. I'm just killing time waiting I'm just killing time. This whole time. But it's at my funeral. Issues I'm swimming through, fishing around for the truth. This is living proof. Now I'll swim, but I. What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the praise. We're in Juniper Park today. We're not at the bars. We're in a different section where I was able to hang out my rings in peace, no distractions. So, as you guys know, as of late, I've been doing a lot of high volume training with an overall goal of increasing my pull-up reps remember if you guys have been watching the latest videos I've been keeping the intensity meaning the load very light I've been really working on letting the elbow tendons the joints heal body weight exercises more volume higher repetitions again a lot lower loads but the intensity throughout the workouts are very high Every set is either superset style, where we're training antagonist muscle groups, or done with very short breaks, keeping that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy stimulation very high throughout the whole routine. So, like I've mentioned in the past, remember, repetitions, the more and more you can do repetitions without added intensity, meaning load, it's going to promote healing to the joints and the tendons, right? More blood flow to an area is going to help healing. So you guys have been seeing me doing a lot of high rep push-up sets, a lot of overall pulling volume muscle ups again keeping the overall loads low so how do we make bodyweight exercises harder without having to keep increasing our repetition so I didn't feel like doing sets of hundreds of push-ups today right and it's a chest day so how do we make bodyweight exercises still intense but harder than regular bodyweight exercises we're gonna now use rings so this is gonna be a full ring chest focused workout very high volume Break periods are going to be modest, no longer than two minutes between any exercise. And again, the volume of repetition is going to be high. We're going to do probably four or five different exercises to target our chest. This is going to be a full push-focused workout. Remember, on the rings, you're going to get a lot of shoulder activation regardless. A lot of side delt activation, a lot of front delt activation. So we're not going to really do any specific shoulder movements today because they're going to get stimulated a lot through all the chest training on the rings. So, like always, guys, we're going to start with the hardest exercise first or what's going to be the most challenging exercise, and then we're going to get easier variations and add up more volume throughout the workout. So, we're going to start with ring dips today, and we're going to be going for three sets of 10 to 15 reps, nice pause repetitions, fully uh, stretching that chest out each rep, full lockout, full contraction at the top. Let's get into it. So, go 12 reps on the first set. We're going to be aiming for three to four sets of every exercise today. Like I said, no longer than two minute break between any set. And remember, when doing any exercise on the rings, you're going to involve a lot of stabilization muscles. One thing you guys are going to learn when you start using the rings is that you have to eliminate momentum for every exercise. You cannot do momentum reps on the rings. It's going to make the rings jump and bounce around and you won't be able to complete the reps. So every rep has to be slow and under control. Excellent tool to help you guys figure out or connect to the muscles, right? Learning that mind-muscle connection. Because every repetition, again, you see on those dips that I'm doing, I'm coming down slow, pausing in that fully stretched out chest position, which is where the chest is going to be under the most load right here. And I have to press strictly back to full lockout. I can't jerk with my legs. Any jerking is going to make the rings jump off the strap and you're not going to be able to get your reps in. So, first set down, three more to go on these ring dips. Let's get it. 
Let's go. Set two. And you guys can see here, every rep has to be fully under control. You want to really control that negative so you feel the chest stretching at the bottom portion of the repetition. Then you want to push down on those rings while maintaining full body alignment and tension, fully locking out and squeezing and flexing the chest at the top of each repetition. All right, guys, about to get into set three. And I want you guys to pay attention to the body positioning on the rings. I've told you guys this many times in the past in all my ring videos. You guys want to maintain a hollow body position at lockout where almost you're leaning slightly forward. Your head is pushed forward. Why is this? Remember, a hollow body hold is when your body and your scapula is in protraction, right? That's going to put your chest at the most optimal positioning to take on the load from gravity for each repetition. If you were more upright, the chest is not gonna take on as much load as it is now when you're hollow bodied out. You're stretching the chest completely on that eccentric load, and when you lock out in that hollow body position, the chest is fully contracted, taking probably close to 90% of the load of that exercise, with the shoulders and triceps taking the remaining 10% of that added load or load from gravity for that matter. Remember this is all body weight exercises here and like I said every movement on the rings has to be under full control. You're fully stretching that chest on the negative portion feeling that chest stretched out under control and then locking out and contracting and squeezing when you come to that hollow body dip support hold on the rings. Let's go set three. Twelve reps, three sets, and like I said, this is how you make body weight training harder. Once dips get easy on the dip bars, like I said, in order for me to get stimulation like this by doing body weight dips on the dip bar, I'm gonna be having to hit sets of 50 reps a set, probably at least in the beginning, to develop that initial fatigue where the previous sets get so exhausting. Right? Because remember, it's that when your body is under the fatigue and you're stimulating those fibers to work when they're tired, that's when you're gonna get the most benefit, the most muscle building stimulation. Now, if you could do a set, like I've said in the past, of 50 reps, very easy, but then you're struggling to get to 60 to 70, it's those last 20 reps of the clip that are gonna make the most muscle building happen, right? The first 50 reps is almost done as a pre-exhaust set, right? Same thing with push-ups. You could do 50, 60 easy, it's those later reps where you're struggling where you're gonna get the most benefit and the most muscle building stimulation. So to get that on the rings is very easy. 12 reps a set with two minute breaks is extremely tough. So we got one more round to go of this ring dips. Let's get it. And regardless of the training that you guys are choosing to do, the goal should always be to get stronger. Building strength is a prerequisite to building bigger muscles. Your muscles aren't gonna grow bigger if they're not growing stronger at the same time. Think about it. You think if you're growing weaker or getting weaker in time, your muscles are gonna have a reason to get bigger? No. So strength is a key driver of hypertrophy. I've said this numerous times as well. The stronger you are, the more you could rep at a given weight, right? So for instance, if I could do 30 pound ring dips for 10 reps, body weight I should be able to do 20 to 30 reps on the rings, right? Because if I, could do 10 with 30, if I could do 10 reps with 30 pounds, that means when I take that 30 pounds off, I'm going to be a lot stronger at the lower intensity. So the goal should always be to get stronger in whatever type of training you do. And again, the movements should stay consistent. You guys want to see progress in something, you can't do different things all the time. Granted, remember, I do parallel bar dips and I do ring dips. The movement is the same, 
the modality that I'm doing them on is different. Different stimulation, same movement, same focus, same intent. You're just training them on different tools now. A harder utilization than doing them on a parallel bar, etc., etc. So, last set, 12 reps again. Let's go. Alright, that's four sets of 12 reps, ring dips, done. I told you it was a full chest focus push workout. So we got a few more exercises to go. Everything on the rings. I rest about two to three minutes now. Tops between exercises. See you at the next one. Let's get it. Alright guys, dip work is done. Now we're going to be going on to one of my favorite ring exercises. They're going to build a ton of strength. That's going to have a great translation over to all of your pressing movements, whether it's weighted dips, handstand push-ups, military presses, bench presses. This movement now is gonna be, like I said, one of my favorite ring exercises that are gonna have a great translation over to building strength just in general. And like I've said this again many times in the past, it's very common that the muscle will get stronger than the tendon or the joint. That's what leads, leads to a lot of problems with people, right? Especially when you see people on gear. That's why they get so many injuries because they could build such big muscles but their tendons and joints can't maintain the amount of muscle mass that they build. So doing these high rep sets, they train the joints and the tendons as well as the muscles. But now moving on to the rings, the rings are going to make you bulletproof. They're going to train the shoulders to be bulletproof and mobile and flexible. They're going to train the elbow joint, the shoulder joint to be fluid, to be strong, to be stable in all areas and as well as the tendon. It's gonna, be, it's gonna build a ton of tendon strength because again, everything done on the rings is gonna require more stabilization, more full body control. You're not gonna be able to get those jerking movements, those snap back actions which cause those joint and tendon issues to begin with, right? Remember when you see people lifting heavy ass weight, bench pressing, it's the momentum, it's the bouncing that causes a lot of stress on the joints. It's that dropping down and releasing the pull-up bar to almost increase or release, release tension to allow you to get more reps that causes the elbow and the joint pain from doing pull-ups. You're not gonna get those pains on the rings and you're gonna be able to strengthen the tendons and joints even more using the rings as opposed to any other type of modality. So what we're gonna get into next is called a pelican push-up. So it's gonna be a ring push-up variation that's gonna take us through a deeper range of motion and it's gonna involve a lot more elbow flexion than a normal push-up would, right? So it's gonna involve a lot of biceps and bicep tendon. So I have the ring set up just about a foot off the ground for this. And again, you work at your level. The higher, it'll be slightly easier. The lower, it's gonna force more tension and more force on the tendons and the chest as well. So, Pelican push-up guys, we're gonna aim for three sets of about four to eight reps here, because again, this is gonna be a very, very strenuous exercise and it's gonna be a strength builder. So the volume is gonna be slightly lower, time on the tension is gonna be very high. And we're gonna set up in our push-up position, guys, always in this hollow body position to start. We're gonna come down like we're doing a regular push-up, but from here, now we extend, we open, we open, we open. One, back to lockout. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, you guys see, when you get lower through the rings and you start opening up, now you're involving a lot more biceps. The biceps are taking on an eccentric load. 
Very similar to doing like a reverse grip back lever. You guys want strong bicep tendons. You guys want to make your arms and elbows bulletproof. Practice these pelican push-ups. Over time, you're going to be able to extend deeper and deeper and open up more and more and evolve more and more of that tendon and bicep in general, which is going to have a great translation over. Like I said, all your pressing mo motion movements, because again, this is going to take a lot of stress onto the shoulder as well, but it's also going to have a great translation over to any type of flexion. Because under here, when your body's flexed through the rings, stretched through the rings, those tendons and your biceps are under extreme load. So it's going to have a great transla translation over to strength moves like planches, hafestos, things like that. Pelican push-ups, keep them in the routine, work at your level. If you need to, you can make the rings higher. You don't got to go as deep. Over time, you're going to be able to build more range of motion. Two more sets, eight reps. Let's get it. Man, it ain't no telling, but everybody need balance Roll with a couple suit and ties, roll with a couple felons And we all one in the same, just trying to find balance Understand what it takes, I'm a man about to break down Tell me what it takes, you know I'm taking that Tell me where to go, you know I'm going, there's no turning back They say that they like the way I swerve on tracks Cruising through the system, rappers speak a language I don't speak a word of that, they cloud chase, I route race Still up on my down days, they ain't use they pennies wise They still stuck in their clown ways, all they do is take shots They hate it when we not phased, and yeah, yeah, you win the game But you got played, mm. I've been on my own for way too long Seems like I'll be better off on my own I can't keep getting down on myself I gotta figure it out Man, ain't All right, guys, next up, we got regular ring push-ups. Now, you guys can think of ring push-ups as a regression to those pelican push-ups. Remember, the pelican push-up is gonna take you through a full range of motion push-up, but it's gonna take you, take you deeper into more of a stretched out chest position and more of a flexed arm position where you're incorporating more biceps so just like natural bodybuilding sets and rep training you would go harder exercises first and as the workout goes on the exercises get generally easier we could build up more volume over time so now we're going to go into ring push-ups we were hitting only eight reps a set on the pelican push-ups that means we got to go 10 plus on regular ring push-ups so it's going to be shorter range of motion and the pelican push-ups, but it's gonna get again, it's gonna keep that tension on the chest, allow us to pump more volume into the chest, more repetitions over time is gonna make you stronger as well. So, sets of 10 to 12, three sets, let's go. Look, I'm still waiting on moments that never came. Blind faith in people who never change My heart breaks and every day I go insane Just trying to relive memories that never turn out the same It's time to move on, but I'm stuck in my ways I gotta prove wrong, anyone who had something to say When I was down and out, new route, I found a new way Through all the doubts, finding out who's real and who's fake It's more than having goals and cashing checks It's less about what hasn't happened yet, but what's about to happen next That's and remember, when you're coming to the locked out push-up position You guys see, we're hollowing, hollowing our body out every time Remember, that allows you to bring the arm across the chest. When the humerus crosses the chest, that's when you get full contraction, meaning a full squeeze of the chest muscles. Perspective, I guess, many lessons regret. Let the hate overshadow any love that I get. Cause I'm addicted to the pain, comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Cause I push away, it doesn't mean I lost my love for you. Time ticks away and every day I have too much to do. No matter how much, it seems like it's never enough for you. I'm working, but it's hurting, and this level of uncertainty has got me feeling nervous. Wasting time writing verses. At first, yeah. Woo. all right, guys. So I did three sets of ring pushes. You guys only saw sets one and set two. Just trying to keep the video rather short here. We're gonna end with a ring fly. But now instead of doing repetitions, we're gonna really focus on keeping that ch that chest stretched in the eccentric portion of the repetition for as long as possible. So we're going to be doing fly isometrics, aiming for 10 
to, I don't know, 30 second, ideally holds in that full stretched out, locked out position of a ring fly. Max time hold under tension, then I'm just gonna come up one rep to full lockout, fully squeeze and contract the chest. But this purpose of this ring fly that I'm doing is to eccentrically load the chest and keep it stretched under an isometric tension for as long as possible. Again, it's gonna build full body awareness, awareness of where it wants to be in the bottom of the ring position, and it's gonna build a ton of central nervous system strength and activation because it's gonna teach your body how to be strong and still and controlled in a very uncomfortable position. So, ring flies, we're gonna be doing three sets. I'm probably just gonna film this first one, hoping I get the most effort out of it, because I know sets two and set three, I'm gonna need a little longer break now, probably up to three minutes to produce that max effort that I want. So, ring flies to finish it off, that's the fourth exercise that we're doing for our chest. Full ring focus chest workout, let's get it. And just so you guys know, I raised the rings six inches from the push-up position. So the push-ups, I was doing six inches lower than they are now. So again, isometric ring fly hold for max time. We're really gonna stretch and overload our chest right now. See, I don't even care that I failed. I loaded it extremely tense in that stretch position. That obviously that intensity was too much for me to even get a full locked out rep in. So that remember, you can handle more load in the eccentric portion of a rep. If you can't bench press 300 pounds, but let's say you can bench 275, 275 is your one rep max. If you put 300 pounds on the bar, you'll be able to control it down just might not be able to control it up. So I'm gonna do two more sets. I just got about 20 seconds on that first set. So I'll probably go for 15 second hold set two, maybe another 15 second set three if I can get it, if not 10 seconds. So ending the routine off with ring fly isometrics. Let me just show you guys if isometrics are too tough for you guys, you guys can just do regular ring flies. Down, up, I'm extremely fatigued right now from that set. So you guys can rep them out, whatever variation you feel like doing. But again, that ring fly is really gonna stretch out the chest. You're gonna stretch out a deep range of motion, hit this whole upper portion where it connects to the shoulders. And if you get that contraction back up, it's really gonna be beneficial for building that line, that cleavage that separates the left pec from the right pec. So full ring chest workout done today. Hope you guys enjoy it. This can be done by any level, literally. Anybody could use the rings and benefit from them. If you're just getting strong at body weight and you're hitting around those 10 to 15 rep ranges for dips, push-ups, pull-ups, take everything over to the rings again and you're gonna be back in that strength building rep range, one to five. Remember, building more strength over time is gonna allow you to rep more reps. More strength equals bigger muscles in general. Try this routine out. Even though we didn't have a ton of weight with us today, actually no weight at all, the intensity was still through the roof, really stimulating muscle building for our chest right now. Like I said, guys, this can be done by any level. Get yourselves a pair of rings. You don't even need bars. Find a tree, and you're good to go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, like the video. It helps the algorithm out. Share it with your friends, your family. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you are, tell your friends and your family to subscribe. And if you have a question or comment, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. Bar Naturals. Sad story, I ain't here for a symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling, my time's coming.